Scotty. Who's Scotty? What's up gang, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing an update video and also seeing if the Laurents Major can take the title of King of the Hill. The first thing we want to talk about is the update and that's new accessories that are now available for the board. And well, they are really, really cool, well thought out and just like in the Laurents fashion, they are massively over engineered. The first one we're gonna look at is the handle. You can see it right here. It comes with a whole new anti-sync plate, I guess you'd call it. It connects onto the top here. You've got these beautifully machined uh, braces which go all the way down and you've got your three rods. Now, when I first installed these, I thought it looks a bit silly. And I still think it looks a little bit silly. It looks a bit, I don't know, grandpa-y, cadillac -y. But as soon as I had to pick the board up and move it, I saw its value tenfold. It's such a good point to grab this board now and carry it behind you before you had to really bend down and because it is such a heavy board with those massive steel gear motors and that massive battery, it's really heavy to lift up. We've got some crows that have just joined us in the background. Now the second accessory, and there's something actually really special about these which I'll talk about very soon, is their fender kit. Now their fender kit comes with two different sized fenders, so you can suit it to the wheels you're running. If you're running these wheels, it fits. If you're running their really big tank wheels, they've also got a fender in the box to suit those, and you get both fenders in the kit. First thing, they are giving these away free right now with all US and Canada orders. Oh, Canada. Uh, that are received, the orders are received before the end of the month. Um, so basically they've got a whole lot of stock going into the warehouse and any pre-orders placed now before the end of the month will get the fender kit and the light kit included free of charge, which is really, really good value. Second point, how do these things work? How do they look? Well, first of all, as I mentioned in the intro, they're over-engineered. Um, I was going to do an install video, but it took me about an hour to build these. There is clips, there is location pins, there is location lines, but once you've done one, it kind of makes sense and you can get into a you can get into like a rhythm of building them and get them fitted. They've got um, location marks. So what I mean by that is you can fit your first fender, set it up exactly how you want it, and then before you fit the second fender, you can look at what location lines. So they've got marks you can see on the on the screen there and you can match up the other one so it mirrors it exactly. Another big thing I've noticed about this company is when they release accessories, it's like they already knew they were gonna do it and they've made it work perfectly. It doesn't feel like they've been made to fit. They've, it feels like the product's been made to accept them, which is a really big plus because there's nothing worse than having to make things fit and never quite being right. Right, that's enough. As I said, these are awesome, these are awesome. Um, you get these free and the light kit if you order before the end of the month and you're in US or Canada. Oh, and Canada. As far as the board's concerned, it's just an absolute beast of a board. We're gonna go to my hill climb, which is just around the corner, Prospect Street. We've done the Eovan Super up there. It managed to get up to about 18 kilometers per hour, which is fast, because some boards can't even make it. A lot of boards can't make it up that hill. Uh, the most recent one was the Acedex Z3. That went up there at around 37. It got 38 straight away, but then it dropped down to 37. So we're gonna see if this board can take the title of King of the Hill. And I can tell you right now, I don't think, if it does, I'm pretty sure it's going to, um, there won't be any other boards coming out in the near future that will knock this one off its throne. All right, let's head to Prospect Street and put the major to the hill climb test. It is actually starting to spit here, so we won't muck around too much. Uh, on the way, let's talk really quickly about Eastgate Con. It's coming up quick. Laurence is gonna be there in an official capacity this year. Yeah, so go over, see them, test out their board, and maybe ask Chris and the team if they're cooking up anything new, because I don't know, this has been out for a year now, so there must be something coming. They haven't told me anything, but I reckon if you twist Chris's arm, he might let some secrets go. Right, here we are, Prospect Street. As you can see, very, very steep. Confirmed, I think 28% at the steepest point. 
as always, we come up to the line. There's a line up there. We start on the line because that's already on the gradient. And then we go hammer down and see how fast the board will go. We're on about 80% battery, 75, 80% battery, according to the, the lights and the remote. So we'll see how we do. I'll flip you down so you can see the gradient, but by now you know how steep this hill is. We're gonna go on the left-hand side, which is the steepest side of the, st st the steepest side of the street. And we'll see what speed we can get up to. Just a reminder, the EOVN Super, I think did about 17 from memory, max. The RZ3 from Ace Deck did 37. So it hit 38 for a split second on the first little bit, uh, then sat on 37 the rest of the way up. So let's see what the Laurent Major can do. I'll put the camera down, we'll get up to the line, and let's do it. So you can see how steep it is just by how fast I roll backwards. All right, here is the line. So on the line, come to a complete stop, start rolling backwards, and let's go for it. Now, I don't, probably won't even go full throttle, to be honest. So here we go, 35, 38, 41, 45, 46, 46, 47. <laughs> All right, so. New king of the hill. King is king. I wasn't expecting to go that fast. 47 kilometers per hour at the steepest. I had more to go. I actually wasn't on full throttle. So I'm going to go out on a limb and just claim it could easily do 50 up that gradient, which is absolutely insane. Oh, my God. I was not expecting it to go that fast, honestly. Let me just go backwards. Manual reverse switch, by the way. I think I mentioned that in my video. Love, love manual reverse switches. Here is Prospect Street. And as you can see, I mean, I'm hoping it sticks out, but if you look at the gray fence over there, you see the gradient. You can see exactly how steep it is. So new king of the hill, Lawrence Major. 47 plus, not full throttle because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, very, very powerful board. Uh, but that is it. So new fenders, check them out, handle functionally amazing looks a little bit ugly but really does add so much usability to the board the fenders are insanely good you can tweak these things millimeter by millimeter and get them exactly right so you don't get dirty shoes um, and as i said they are free with every pre-order at the moment until the end of the month for all usa and canada customers canada <laughs> if you're on the fence if you're thinking about it first of all use scott d i think you save like 100 maybe 150 bucks i can't remember Scott to get the check out. It also gives me a little kickback, so if you use it, thank you. But also you get those free fenders and that free light kit worth, I think it's close to 200 bucks. But yeah, it is only the end of the month and it is only US and Canada customers. Canada! Hopefully we can convince them to do something for Australia. If they get a warehouse soon, we can get some sort of special giveaway or freebie as well. Uh, but as I said, that is it. We'll see you at Eastgate Con. Please come over and say good day. Even if I'm filming, just come over and nudge me in the back i don't care i want to meet as many subscribers as possible you'll probably end up being in the video all right that's it guys and girls thank you so much for watching don't forget skate safe wear a helmet and we'll see you in vegas <laughs>